Well, today I want to talk to you about Ezekiel's vision from uh, chapter 37 of, of, of the prophetic book of Ezekiel. In that uh, chapter, he has this vision of a valley full of dry bones. And I want to emphasize the dry bones because those are bones that are long since dead. I mean, lifeless, so withering in the, out there in the plain. He had this vision and was given it to the people who lived in Babylon. These were exiles, people who had been defeated and brought into Babylon as servants and, and slaves of the Babylonian Empire. They'd been there decades by the time he had this vision, and I think the point was that their souls, their lives as a community had become like these dry bones, long since dead, dead particularly of hope. Hope that God had a future, that they could maybe go home, that they could rebuild, but it was, Babylon was strong. They were weak. They were servants and slaves. The distance home was, it was a great distance, and when they got there, they would find rubble. But in this vision, Ezekiel saw the breath of God come and commanded it to blow into these bones, and it blew into these bones, and the bones began to come together, and they became into people, living, breathing people. The point was that through God's Spirit, through the work of God in their lives, what seemed dead, what seemed impossibly uh, hopeful, actually could happen for them. Well, I think the same sort of dynamic is present for us who are Christians today. Maybe in our personal lives we're feeling something dead. Our hope is dead for our own lives and, and what might be going on there. That there's this spirit that might blow into them and, and give us life. A vibrancy again. For us as churches, sometimes it feels like, well, what's going on with our churches? Where is that going? God's Spirit blowing in, giving life for us as a country. You know, as I, I think about these words, I hear the theme of this, uh, this series as ashes to fire. Pretty parallel, pretty close to what it means to be dry bones to having a vibrant life with a hopeful future. Ashes to fire. Dry bones to a vibrant life in God. Indeed, this is our hope through our God and the Spirit of God working in us. Amen.